So I'm sorry about the background. It's a little gross only because I had to choose between. <laughs> People think I'm kidding when I say my dog's a crackhead and I'm just not. Can you please just say hello to everybody for like three seconds? Say hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay guys, this is Luna. Didn't she get so much bigger from the last video she was in? She's literally ginormous. Hey guys, it's Sam and today's video is really a good one, I guess. <laughs> basically, I think I need to kick my dog out of the room really quick. Okay, so basically in my last haunted video, I told you guys that I was like out of scary stories and because I am like I'm not gonna make them up to make them more like get you know what I mean I'm not gonna make them up since I'm out of scary stories and you guys love the scary stories so much I decided that I was going to tell your guys a scary story if you are new here I would love it so so much if you subscribe and you guys if you like this video then you guys can comment down below some more scary stories and maybe I'll do a part two also give this video a big thumbs up and turn on post notifications and follow me on Instagram, which is right here. And I think that's it. I think we can get into the video now. Okay, so I went through and read some of them. Um, and instead of just telling the most liked ones, I'm just gonna go through and read some and find some that I like, and I'm just gonna tell them that way. Um, but the one I just read is so scary. But before I say any stories at all, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day and commenting these stories because these are like long stories you told me look at this one this is literally like this girl took that time out of her day to write that and that honestly that means a lot so thank you so much so this story was posted by adore sav and she literally posted this story a month ago and it's taken me that long to like get to it so i'm sorry but um yeah i'm just gonna tell her story now it's really really spooky <laughs> So this story actually takes place when she, at a church. Her mom and her cousin went to go visit her aunt at this like super old church that her aunt used to like work for and organize and like fundraise and stuff. So she said that like on this particular day there was like really nobody there. So her and her cousin were just like walking around in the hallways and talking and her mom and her aunt was in her aunt's office talking. So she wasn't with her mom or her aunt, she was just with her cousin. So they were just walking around the hallways and they got sick of walking so they just sat on a bench that was in one of the hallways and they were just talking. And she said that, let me see if I can read this right. She was going to look down at her phone and the second she looked down at her phone, she saw like someone like peek around the corner and she said that they were wearing like a, a nun's outfit. So obviously if you see someone wearing a nun outfit in your house, you're gonna be creeped out. But like just a reminder, she was just in a church. So she was just assuming that it was somebody that was a nun for the church. So she didn't really think much about it. And so she was just like went back scrolling on her phone, talking, whatever. So a couple, mo couple minutes later go by and her cousin decides that she has to go to the bathroom. Um, the bathroom was down the hallway. She said she wasn't gonna go with her because it was a one stall bathroom so she said you could just go and then I'll wait here. So while she was sitting on the bench waiting for her cousin to go to the bathroom she decides to get up and go down the hallway just to see who like was down there because again this was a day nobody was really supposed to be there and I don't know she probably just wanted to investigate maybe see if she knew the person um because again this is where her aunt works so I'm assuming that she's probably been there multiple times so maybe she knows some of the people that work there I don't know um so she decided to get up and go down and see who it was. This is where I was like, Ugh, this is where I was like, that's really spooky. Like, this, oh, I hate this. So she said she looks and where the end of the hallway was, she said it was just a little area with a table and no doors or windows or anything. And she looked and nobody was there. This is so spooky. <laughs> She was like, where could this woman have gone? Which honestly is so spooky. But again, if you think about it, when you're in that situation, like if you look and you see like there's nowhere she could have gone, I probably wouldn't like freak out. I feel like I would have just been like, okay, I probably just didn't see her leave. But this next part is where I was like, okay, that's really creepy. So when her friend comes out of the bathroom, her friend goes, why did you do that? 
and this girl was like do what and she goes I was trying to get out of the bathroom and you were holding the door and I couldn't get out and you were laughing like that's annoying like why were you doing that and she was like I did not do that so she said she told her friend it wasn't me she said her friend thought she was joking still they talked about it for a few minutes and then they went back to go sit down and then the story goes on to say how they um were on their phones again and then they both thought they saw something else like in the i think she said in the vent or something i wasn't really clear on that part i'm so sorry but i think i got the main point of the main point of the story which is spooky which is the freaking door handle with the lady disappearing i don't know that's really spooky and she even goes on to say that a couple months later there's multiple people saying they've seen mysterious workers there that they've never seen before walking around and everything i don't know that story was so freaking scary so thank you so much adore sav for commenting that it's really really spooky and it was a good one i like that one so i guess on to story number two Okay, so I lost footage of one of the stories, so I'm cutting in and I'm going to tell a different one. Um, yeah. So this one's on the shorter side, but it's okay because the last one was also on the shorter side, the one that I lost, so it, it kind of works out anyways. So this girl says that she has a um, desk in her room with like a spinny chair, and um, one night she was going to sleep like normal, and like nothing was the matter or anything, and when she woke up, the chair was next to her bed like it like if someone she said as if someone like if someone was watching you and then like would sit in a chair next to your bed and like stare at you that's so scary that's how the chair was and i was like whoa that's so creepy but then i kept reading the comment did i say who this is by her name is bella b so then i was like that's creepy but then she said another night she goes to sleep she like shrugged off whatever the first time like that's creepy whatever then the second time She's going to sleep, and as she's sleeping, her dog's, like, barking all night and whining and crying. She says, like, all night, and she's just ignoring it because I do that, too. When my dog's crying at night, I'm like, go to sleep. Um, so she wakes up the next morning, and the chair's there again. Get out of here. Are you kidding me? Two times? Okay, one time? That's scary. Two times? I'm moving out. Nope. You know what's funny? When I tell my stories, everybody in the comment section like is like so freaked out. They're like, that's so scary. To me, they're really not that scary just because I've, they've happened to me. I don't know. I just, you know what I mean? But these people tell, I'm hearing their stories and I'm just as scared as people that hear my stories. Does that make sense? But to these people, it's probably like, okay, it just happened, like whatever. But to me, I'm like, oh my God, that's so scary because it is. Okay, the part that freaked me out the most about that story is when she said, like someone was watching you because like okay a chair next to your bed like what what does that even mean like why is that scary but then like when she said like it's like as if someone was like sitting in the chair watching me sleep whoo that's really scary okay so that was just my little filler story because um i i lost the last one so all right oh oh my god wait i wanted to add this in too really quick really quick we are so close to 10,000 subscribers, you guys, which is so funny because in my last video, I was like, could you imagine if I was thanking you guys for 10,000 and what? And like, we're like less than 400 away. So if you are new here, please, please keep subscribed so we can get to 10,000. That's literally insane. Thank you so much. Wow. Insane. Um, but okay. Now we're going to go back to old me. This is present me, old me now. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> So this next story I'm going to tell is actually really, really creepy, and I just lost it, so I'm probably going to cry right now. Oh my god, I lost it. <gasps> no! It, the next story I'm going to tell is by um, someone with the name Kahenzi, like, <coughs> Ka, like K-A-H-N-Z, you know. Do you think it's just Kenzie, and I'm pronouncing it stupid? I think it's Kahenzi. Okay, if I'm saying your name wrong, I'm so sorry. I think it's Kahenzi. She said when the live stream feature on Instagram first came out, she said she used to use it a lot. And she said as she was like live streaming, she said one of the comments that came in said like, is there a door behind you? And she said no, very confused as to why because it's a weird question to ask. And she was like, no, why? And she was like, because I thought someone popped their head in, like your parents behind you, like to check on you. Like she was she's like, they wanted to let them know like, hey, your parents are behind you, like checking in on you. 
she was really creeped out and the scariest part is that she said multiple people were like saying it they're like yeah no we saw it like that's so scary imagine being on a live stream and think about that you're sitting in your room doing a live stream and someone's like, hey, just so you know, your parents are checking up behind you. And you turn around and it's a wall like this and there's nobody behind you. Goodbye. That's terrifying. But she said multiple people in the comment section were commenting and being like, nope, yep, we saw it. Like, that's what we saw. And, um, but she said, unfortunately, it was when first, like I said in the beginning of the story, is when Instagram first came out with the feature. So, in the beginning, it wasn't like there wasn't, I don't, I didn't know this, but apparently there wasn't an option to save it to your story maybe i do remember that that was a long time ago but apparently you couldn't save it to your story when it first came out so she does not have the video but i believe her that is pretty spooky and she also i just want to add this in because this is so cute i'm one of the reasons that she started her channel so i just want to say thank you for being so supportive and commenting your story you're so cute i watched some of your videos you're super cute um so yeah thank you for watching and being subscribed it means a lot so this story, I'm literally, okay, so the other ones I read beforehand, when I told you, this one I want to like react to it um, on camera while I'm reading it, I think that could be fun, maybe, it's probably not that fun, anyways, so this is by um, Maria Frigilato, oh, I hate reading people's last names because I don't know how to say it, I think that's how you pronounce it, if it's not, I'm so sorry, I'm going to read it for the first time right now, so this is me reacting to the story too. She said, this didn't happen to me, but it happened to my mom. It was, I think, a little past 2 or after 3 in the morning. And when my mom got super thirsty and she went to the kitchen to get water, our stairs are in, like, form of a spiral and you could see in the dining room. So she has, like, a spiral staircase, so as you're going down, you can, like, see into the dining room. My mom was standing in the dining room drinking her water when she saw and heard a little kid say, Mommy, what are you doing? And assuming it's one of her kids, I'm assuming. I'm literally reading this as I'm going and I'm still trying to tell it. It's like, it's, never mind. She said, hey, on my, and she answered saying, I got thirsty, so I came downstairs to get a drink of water. Go upstairs and go to sleep. I'll be right there. My mom said that she left like two minutes after that and she went to check up on me and see if I was in bed. Little did she know I had been sleeping, just like my brother and sister. And she thought I was one of us, but we were all asleep. She also said that she saw the kids standing there. So she not only like thought, she heard a kid say that, but she like said she was like she was so positive that someone was there. So she literally answered. That's that's what's so scary. Like imagine being so positive that it is one of your children or like your mom or your dad to the point where you literally answer and then find out. Like she wasn't even scared because she was so positive it was her own kid, and then she that is so scary. Finds out that they're all sleeping and they were never awake. That is creepy. So that is all the paranormal stories that I'm going to be at. Oh my god, when did my necklace fall? That's so embarrassing. I really hope it wasn't like that like the entire video. I knew I didn't put that on right too. So that is all the paranormal stere series. <laughs> so that is all the paranormal stories that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Or no, that I'm going to read from you guys. And um, there are so many stories. So if you wanted me to do a part two, then just like this video. And also comment some more. Like if you didn't comment the first time, you could comment on this one. And maybe I'll do another one of these if you liked it. So uh, subscribe if you are new here. I would love it so, so much if you subscribed and give this video a big thumbs up for me. I'm just, my hair is really just not cute right now. So, sorry that I look like this. Um, I think that's everything. Now I'm tired. I've been filming the video for so long. I love you guys so, so much. And I will catch you on the flip side. How many stories did I read? I don't even know.